It's postseason or bust, folks. Let's find out who the Super Bowl champion will be this year. Champ, baby. Champ. Hello folks, welcome to Jeremy Hadler's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jeremy Hadler. On today's episode, I will be predicting which NFL teams will be making the postseason this year, and then go further by doing playoff matchups, and then to find out who my Super Bowl winner is this year. So stay tuned for that, and do not skip all the way to the end of the video, folks. So let's start on the NFC side, and then we'll go to the AFC side. Starting with the seventh seed is the Minnesota Vikings, finishing at 10 and seven. 10 and seven, folks. The sixth seed, the San Francisco 49ers, 11 and six. Fifth seed, the Dallas Cowboys, 11 and six. Dallas, you're overrated, you know that. You're not America's team. Fourth seed, Philadelphia Eagles at 11 and six. Fly, Eagles, fly. Third seed, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 11 and six. Tom Brady, I hate you. Second seed, Los Angeles Rams, your Super Bowl champions from last year, 12 and five. And then to wrap it up in the first seed is, of course, my team, the Green Bay Packers at 12 and five. Now, I know most people are gonna say bias right away, but if you look at their schedule, it's not that bad. It's not a hard schedule. All right, let's start with the first round. So of course, the first seed gets an automatic buy. It used to be the first two seeds, but then they made the adjustment a couple years ago for playoff format. So the first seed now gets the bye week. So Packers get a bye week. The first matchup we will have is the Rams versus the Vikings. And I have the Rams winning this match because the Rams are too good. I don't trust the Vikings defense. The key matchup I wanted to see here is Justin Jefferson versus Jalen Ramsey. Then you got Dalvin Cook versus Aaron Donald. So there's a lot of great player matchups in that. So I have the Rams winning that because the Rams are still superior than the Vikings. I just, again, don't trust the Vikings defense. The offense for the Vikings can do well, but the Rams you still have defense against Joe Burrow. Remember Aaron Donald sacking Joe Burrow like six times? Joe Burrow had to go home. Next matchup is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the 49ers. Now this is an interesting matchup to me because I really like the 49ers this year with Trey Lance. They're not having Jimmy G as the 49ers already mentioned they want to trade him, but the asking price is too much. Nobody wants him, so he's probably gonna, Jimmy G's probably gonna sit on the bench. Trey Lance is gonna develop. You still have the Debo Samuel resigned this offseason. You still have George Kittle, Trent Williams, one of the best left tackles of the game, if not the best. And then you go on the defensive side for the 49ers. They still have Nick Boza, Kinlaw. Then you got Fred Warner. But the 49ers secondary gives me a little bit of worry. Where you compare it to the Buccaneers, their defense is still solid. It wasn't great last year, as many people expected from the Super Bowl they won. Bucks offense is still going to be great with Tom Brady coming back. You got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, but Chris Godwin's going to come back halfway through the season like october is what we were hearing the key match is the offense line for the buccaneers versus the 49ers defense line because the buccaneers have lost three guys this offseason already lost one from a torn acl ryan jensen i believe was this training camp they lost two of their best guys one retired and then the other one signed with the cincinnati Bengals. so the offensive line's a little bit of worry for me for the buccaneers i still think the buccaneers are better than the 49ers but that's a key matchup to watch for. So I trust Tom Brady winning it this game. So I have the Buccaneers beating the 49ers and moving on to the second round. And then we go to our last matchup, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. Jalen Hurts. It all depends on Jalen Hurts basically to me. If he performs well, like Lamar Jackson did with his MVP year, not, he's not gonna have those kind of numbers, but if he plays like a Lamar Jackson, the Eagles are gonna do very great. Dallas, you lost Amari Cooper. You have C.D. Lamb. I like the Cowboys a little bit more just because I don't know with the Eagles. Like, yes, you got amazing weapons. You had a great offseason with the draft, training for A.J. Brown. But I have to see what Jalen Hurts does because if I were to do it right now, I'd give it to Dallas because Hurts doesn't have that QB decision making. He's not a great QB decision maker. But vice versa, Dak Prescott doesn't know how to spike the ball. So, guys, more playoff experience than Jalen Hurts. So, I, I'm going to give it to Dallas here. But in the future, depending on how Jalen Hurts does, if he does well this season, then it's Eagles. But for right now, as I put it, I give it to Dallas by a field goal. 23-20 is what I'm going to give it. And then we get to the second round. Dallas Cowboys taking on the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
Let's start with the Dallas Cowboys Packers matchup. Let's see, what do we want to do? This is no Des Cash, did Jared Cook play, Devontae Adams in that regular season game on a walk off. What do we want to do here, Dallas? I'm taking the Packers here because Aaron Rodgers owns the Dallas Cowboys, and I like the Packers very much in this matchup because they got better defense. They don't have better offense, but they have a better run game. So I trust the Packers run game because Dallas Cowboys didn't have a great run defense last year. And Packers have great secondary to cover CD Lamb and they can stop the run finally when they improve that defense line by drafting Y from Georgia and sign Jaron Reed. And you have the main guy, Kenny Clark, super underrated defensive tackle. I really like this Packers team to beat the Cowboys. I really trust them here. So I have the Packers beating the Dallas Cowboys. Now let's get to our last matchup. You got the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now we saw last year in this matchup, Rams were up by a huge margin of points. And then Tom Brady sneaking his way back in to try and tie it and almost take the lead and win the game. Matthew Starr throws the Cooper Cup and he scores a touchdown right at the last second. So Brady, he knows his comebacks. He did in the Super Bowl against the Falcons. 28-3 Falcons. 28-3. But yeah, I have no idea if this is going to be Tom Brady's last year might be. I really like the Rams also with Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson, running back committee. Defense is still good. They lost Vaughn Miller. They signed Bobby Wagner. They still have Aaron Donald. So, and then you got Jalen Ramsey. So this is a very key matchup. I trust Tom Brady and I think he can pull it off by beating the Rams and beating the champions. So, so I got the Buccaneers beating the Los Angeles Rams and moving on to the NFC Championship game. Now we get to the final NFC Championship game of the 2022-2023 NFC Championship game. You got the Green Bay Packers, my team, versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've seen this story before where the Packers had home field advantage and we saw Tom Brady beat Aaron Rodgers. And there's so many mistakes the Packers made in that game. So Tom Brady took advantage of them and won off of it. Once again, as I just mentioned, key for this matchup, be disciplined, Packers, be disciplined. They have the secondary to cover Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. They have a defensive line now to take on Tom Brady. They can create pressure on him. They got the linebackers. Packers defense is going to be good. This is going to be a good matchup against Tom Brady. Even though Tom Brady does well against great defenses, this is gonna give Tom Brady a little difficulty here. But the biggest question really is Aaron Rodgers versus the Buccaneers defense. Now we've seen in the past that Aaron Rodgers from picks, turn over the ball against the Bucks defense. The question here is Rodgers chemistry with his receivers. If he gets chemistry with those receivers, like Randall Cobb, Sammy Watkins, Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, if he gets the connection with those guys, then the Packers are gonna beat him. I think this is time that Rodgers finally beats Brady in a playoff game. I think this is, the time for Aaron Rodgers to finally win another NFC Championship game because we've had the face of losing against Tom Brady before, Russell Wilson, 49ers, Falcons. It's just been a mess. And I think Rodgers finally is going to get it. I think this is his time. Once again, he's had it before many times, but I think he gets it here. I think he gets it here. And because I trust that Packers defense, to create a bit of pressure for Tom Brady. But really, to me, I think Aaron Rodgers gets that chemistry with those receivers. And they also have the running game with A.J. Dillon, Aaron Jones. If they make the right decision-making, be disciplined, I think Packers will get it. So I have the Packers beating the Buccaneers 28-25. to This is going to be a very close game. I think it could be a high-scoring game also. It's going to be very close, but I got Aaron Rodgers finally winning another NFC Championship game and go to the Super Bowl. So I got the Packers winning the NFC. I have them as the NFC champions. And now let's get to the AFC side. With the seventh seed of the AFC is the Miami Dolphins finishing at 10 and seven. Sixth seed, the Cincinnati Bengals 11 and six. Fifth seed, Los Angeles Chargers 10 and seven. Fourth seed, Indianapolis Colts 10 and seven. Third seed, Baltimore Ravens 11 and six. Second seed, Kansas City Chiefs 11 and six. And then finishing out with your number one seed, Getting that bye week is the Buffalo Bills at 12 and 5. Now we get to the first rounds. Since the Bills have the number one seed, they get that bye week as I just mentioned. First matchup, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Miami Dolphins. Tua, I don't trust Tua. I just don't really trust them. But given what the Dolphins have, their offensive weapons and their defense is solid, I just don't trust Tua. Now, it's going to be a fun match to watch with Tyreek Hill facing his old team. I trust Patrick Mahomes to get the job done more. 
and he's going to use Kelsey a lot, Tua has to just be consistent. If he can just do better with throwing the ball, giving it to Tyreek Hill or Jalen Wild or Mike Isecki or running the ball, something like that, then, it's, then the Dolphins are going to win. But I trust the Chiefs more than the Dolphins, and I think the Chiefs are going to blow the Dolphins out. So I have the Chiefs moving on to the second round. Next matchup, this is the key one I like to see, is the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, last year, the Bengals made it to the Super Bowl. I think there's a little luck involved for the Cinderella story to make it to the Super Bowl last year, and I don't think the Bengals are going to be that great like they were last year. And I got the Baltimore Ravens. I trust Lamar Jackson. He's won a playoff game before, and I think Lamar gets it done here by taking out the Bengals. And Joe Burrow, we have to see how much of his injury impacts him. I don't really think it impacts him a lot, but I trust the Ravens defense a lot more. But the Ravens defense is going to be great facing those wide receivers of T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, and then you got the run game with Joe Mixon. Bengals have a better offense, but I trust that Ravens defense a lot more because they had to go through a lot of injuries, both sides of the ball, defense and offense. And I trust Lamar Jackson to get the job done. So I got the Baltimore Ravens moving on to the second round. And now we get to the last matchup in the first round of the AFC, which is the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers defense, that's a big question to me. They improved, they traded for Khalil Mack, they got other guys in the draft for that defense because that was the biggest problem for the Chargers last year was their defense. They could, they would give up so many points while the offense would just put up like 35 points a game. It hurt the Chargers. So the biggest question on the Chargers side is their defense. Can it be solid? Can it not give up too many points? On the Colts side, can Matt Ryan lead his team down the field? Can he do it? Like I mentioned with Aaron Rodgers before. Does Matt Ryan still have a little magic in him to get Colts out? Does he? I don't think he does. I think the Colts are going to really heavily rely on Jonathan Taylor, and they're going to do like what the Titans did against the Ravens in that playoff game a couple years ago by just running the ball with Derrick Henry. And the Ravens were ready for that. They were ready for that. So with the Chargers, I think they can stop Jonathan Taylor. I think they can do it. I like the Chargers a lot more. Justin Herbert, I trust more than Matt Ryan, given his playoff experience. I think Justin Herbert gets the job done here and gets his first playoff win in his career. So I got the Chargers beating the Colts and moving on to the second round. And now we get to the second round. You got the Bills take on the Chargers, Ravens versus the Chiefs. Let's start with the Bills Chargers. Both these teams' offenses are amazing. You got your great quarterbacks. You got great running. You have wide receivers, all etc. This The offensive sides are good. The defense... Chargers, as I mentioned before, gave up a lot of points. Bills defense, they allow that 13-second play against Patrick Holmes last year. That's where I, I struggle with. I think this will be a very high-scoring game. The defense is my biggest concern for both sides. I trust the Bills here because I think they learn from their experience and will get the job done. I think this is going to be a very high-scoring game. I think it's going to be 38-33 to 33 Bills. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. But the biggest question for both teams is is can, they, can their defenses be clutch and stop the opposing offense? Can they do that? That's the biggest question. I trust the Bills more because they are going to learn from their mistake. So I got the Bills heading to the AFC Championship game. Last matchup of the second round is the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Holmes and Lamar Jackson, great QBs. Patrick Holmes has a great arm. He can run. Lamar Jackson has better running skills. Can he throw the ball? Yes, but not... Amazing as Patrick Mahomes can. I'm leaning towards the Chiefs because of Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey connection and style. Chiefs defense is not that bad. Ravens defense is a whole lot better. But I think the Chiefs offense of Patrick Mahomes and Kelsey that I just mentioned can get it done in the offense. So I trust the Chiefs here. I'm going to take the Chiefs here over the Baltimore Ravens. Now, what the Ravens are going to have to do is figure out how to limit Travis Kelsey and force Patrick Holmes to throw to his new receivers like Juju Smith-Schuster or MVS, McCall Hardman, something like that. That's what the Ravens are going to have to do to force Patrick Holmes to not throw to his main guy, Travis Kelsey. But I think Patrick Holmes gets the job done no matter what. So I trust the Chiefs and I got him over the, I have them beating the Baltimore Ravens and advancing to the AFC Championship game. And now we get to the AFC Championship game. You got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. 13 seconds. We all remember that. 13 seconds. Buffalo Bills. You remember that very heavily. I think this is the time for the Bills to get redemption and beat the Kansas City Chiefs because the last two years, the Bills have lost to the Chiefs. I think Josh Allen finally beats 
Patrick Jones, this is like the Peyton Manning, Tom Brady rival. Peyton Manning, that's Josh Allen right now. Tom Brady is Patrick Jones because Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady always beating Peyton Manning and Josh Allen in the playoffs. So I think Peyton Manning, aka Josh Allen, I think this is finally the redemption time. Josh Allen finally gets his first win against Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. I think it's gonna be a very close game. I think they finally learned their mistake from losing to the Chiefs past two years, and I think they get it done. So I got the Bills winning the AFC and going to the Super Bowl to take on my team, the Green Bay Packers. So let's head to the Super Bowl matchup. And now we get to Super Bowl 57, held in Arizona. You got the Green Bay Packers representing the NFC. You got the Buffalo Bills representing the AFC. Both teams are from small markets, so you rarely hear about them that much. You got your great QBs, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers. Both defenses are great. Stephon Diggs, you have your, your best receiver for the Bills. Packers, you used to have a bunch of rookies. That's what we got. We got a bunch of rookies. Maybe if someone stirs the pot and does well, maybe. Probably not in the rookie year. Probably not. Run game. Bills got Devin Singletary. Packers, you got Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. Clash of the Titans, I like to call this because you have the offenses are going to be great. Clash of the Titans, I like to call it because the Packers defense and the Bills offense is going to be going stalemate back and forth like touchdown Bills, stopped by the Packers interception, like something along those lines. So the question really is, is Aaron Rodgers, can he beat that Bills defense? But I don't trust Aaron Rodgers with rookie receivers in the Super Bowl. I don't trust him that i trust josh allen to his receivers and i think the bills get it done here i think they beat my team the green bay packers and be and are your and win the super bowl and win the super bowl so it's because of aaron Rodgers and his receivers doesn't have the chemistry if he has the chemistry he can get it done but i don't think he has it i don't think he'll get it in the super bowl with those guys i don't think so so i think the buff and so i think the buffalo bills will beat my team the green bay packers in the super bowl in Super Bowl 57 and are just, we'll beat them in the Super Bowl. So I got the Bills win the Super Bowl this year. So I got the Bills as your Super Bowl 57 champions, baby. Woo, congrats Bills, congrats Bills. But folks, that's that's all I got here today. Uh, leave your thoughts, but folks, that's all I got for today. Uh, please leave your thoughts in the comments of what you think I did right, of who do you think will make the playoffs, who, who will win the Super Bowl, who's your sleepers for the NFC, for the NFL, who are your sleeper teams for the NFL? Let me know in the chat. But thank you for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. But make sure, but please, thank you for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like on this video. I would thank you for tuning in, guys. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that very much. We are only we are only 14 subscribers away from 200. Let's get that goal. I am. Let's get it. We want. I want 200. Let's get it by the end of the year. Come on, let's get it, folks. But folks, that is all I got for today. P appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments of who you think is going to make the playoffs, who you think is going to win the Super Bowl, who are your sleeper teams, and who are your over eight teams for this year in the NFL. So leave your thoughts in the chat there. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe channel. I would also appreciate it. Trying to get to 200 subscribers. Right now, we are at 186 subscribers. 14 away. But folks, that's a wrap for the studio.